Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It has been a while and for good reason because I had to buy the um if you didn't know I was pregnant um then this will probably come as a bit of a shock to you. But um yeah, we had a baby. She turned out to be a she. Um if you follow me on Instagram you will already um have seen pictures of her and you'll know her name and you will have known she's a girl already. Um Yes. Hi hi um but yeah so we had a baby um i was rubbish at youtube throughout the whole kind of pregnancy i didn't have the nicest or easiest of easiest is that a word of pregnancies i don't want to touch too much upon the actual pregnancy but i didn't have the nicest of pregnancies of course i'm super super grateful um that i can even have children like it still baffles my mind that i've had a baby um but I didn't have the nicest of pregnancies, that's just me being honest. I loved physically being pregnant, um, but I was in and out of hospital a lot. Um, I had lots of scares. Um, there was just like everything that could possibly happen, kind of happened. Um, but she's here, she is healthy and happy. I mean, she's just so chilled. She's the most chilled baby ever. Everyone tells me what a good baby she is and I'm like, don't jinx it just don't jinx it she's really good just quickly touching upon the whole pregnancy thing so i want to put it out there in case there's anybody who is going through the same thing a similar thing because i really would have done well or coped better with somebody else putting their experience out there because it was a lot to kind of go through um so everything was absolutely fine with her found out I was pregnant um 12 week scan was absolutely fine and normal then the 20 week scan they had done all the measurements and said that she was measuring small on her legs and that was like a trigger for either down syndrome Edwards or I think you pronounce it patals that's how people have been saying it to me basically they told me that she was gonna basically have one of these three things down syndrome they survive but obviously they don't have the best um quality of life there's been somebody in my family with down syndrome so i kind of had more of an insight into it um and that kind of didn't scare me as much as um the other two which they basically don't don't survive um so that was that and that's really hard when you've like heard a heartbeat and when you've seen the movie like a, our 12 week scan she although we didn't know she was she at the time was waving um and then at the 20 week scan she was sucking her thumb so when you see things like that and you you realize it's actually a real person um it's gutting to hear something's probably going to be wrong with them so from then i was like closely monitored i went to specialist hospitals i was going between like four different hospitals i've been to um the whole time for you the whole time for you they did more sort of tests i had the um amnio done when they take fluid out of um your womb out the sack they take fluid out of there um when that has a high risk of miscarriage but we had thought about it and thought it was the best the best thing for us to do so each to their to their own with that but that's what we decided to do and it was the best decision i've ever made because i just had peace of mind all the test results came back and there was absolutely nothing they couldn't find anything but i was still being closely monitored um up until she was born from then they then said that um i needed to have like three times a week her heart had to be monitored so i was in the hospital three times a week for that i had a scan every single week which i didn't mind because i got to see like loads of her um but i had a scan every single week um what else did I have? I had so much stuff. I had steroid injections in case she had to come early. I had so many blood tests. I just had the whole shebang. So that's why I wasn't like on YouTube. That's why I wasn't like on my social media. I just did not have the time or the energy or the want to do it. The specialist hospital told me that I wouldn't have her at 40 weeks. I'd have her early around 37, which would either be a planned C-section or a natural birth. They had planned for her to be born when she was 37 weeks. So she would have been 37 weeks on a Saturday. Um, every Saturday she was a new week. So um, they had booked me in for the Sunday. So that was planned. And then I had gone into hospital for one of my routine, routine checkups and um, I had quite high blood pressure. This was on the Monday before. So I had the, the whole of that sort of week 
and then I would have been induced on the Sunday. Um, so on the Monday I went in and they basically just kept me in and I stayed in um, basically until I had her. I didn't come out, which I was super happy about because mentally I would have really struggled to have gone home and then had to come back. Um, so on the Wednesday they decided to induce me because I didn't think there was any point of me sitting in hospital for nearly a week so on the wednesday i was induced with a pessary so that i could have a natural labor because i didn't really need to do a c-section there was no like emergency for it and um, they wanted to try with a natural labor so as soon as the pessary had gone in i don't want this to be like tmi but it's like a birth video so if you're like offended by any information i'm going to say then this is not the video for you so they popped it in and um i felt like period pain straight away like literally the second it had gone in and i said to the midwife i just feel like i got a really bad tummy ache like it felt like a really bad period pain um and she was like already and i said yeah like like i just feel it like in my in my belly like i just i i knew that something was happening um and then she had a look at the heart monitor that i was attached to because they check you before they put it in and um, after it goes in to check the baby's okay with it um because that basically starts to like dilate you and start the whole labor process and um yeah she looked at the thing and she was like yep i can see you having like massive contractions so a couple of hours later they actually took it out because i was progressing like too quickly um so then that was the Wednesday you then get moved to like different sections in the ward depending on whereabouts you like are with it um and um yeah I was moved very quickly I had one one night and then the following day on the Thursday um I had been moved around three o'clock in the afternoon to the labour ward I had popped my waters at three o'clock around 3 p.m and um I went into went into labour pretty much, well, pretty much straight from there. I dilated quite quickly. Um, I wasn't sure how long it would take, especially with the pessary. They told me that would take, it could take up to like 24 hours. It could take up to three days. Like it, it could take a long time. Um, but I feel like just me and my body just did it quite quick. She was born at quarter past 11 or 14 minutes past 11 to be precise um on thursday the 17th of october she was teeny tiny i'm going to insert some pictures um so you can see how tiny she was i really wish i filmed this sooner but i just haven't had the time um yeah she was born at four pounds 12 ounces <laughs> she was weighed yesterday and now she weighs seven pound 13 ounces so she's packing on the pounds but yeah she was teeny tiny she didn't have to go into special care or um, anything like that which I had anticipated I wasn't sure if I'd be able to do the whole skin on skin thing but I was able to so I'll pop a little picture up um of her like when she was first born and we had the like skin on skin which um I really did I did appreciate and I was just so overwhelmed and so shocked because I assume they would just sort of whisk her off and take her into um special care but we couldn't believe that she was a she I had a I had an inkling towards the very end I just I just felt like I don't know I just felt like she was a she Jay my partner thought that she was a boy the whole way through even to the very end um when they were sort of like checking uh you know like how much are dilated and they said oh I can feel a bit of hair and he was like it's definitely a boy then and then she popped out and he looked he looked down and went it's a girl i had kept saying we're gonna have a girl because we know we know what what boy's name we want so we're gonna end up having a girl because we're completely undecided and we had no idea for a girl's name but we decided to go oh she's smiling <laughs> we decided to go um with amelia with an e um i just feel like she looks like one we had a few other names which i'm not going to mention just in case we go on to have any more babies in the future um and we want to use those so i'm not going to mention those but the other names that we had i just wasn't i wasn't set on um whereas i was set kind of on amelia her middle name her middle name is christine which is the same as mine it's the same as my mom's and it's actually my dad's mom's first name which we didn't realize we thought it was her middle name but it's actually her first name but nobody calls her that they call her a different name um so it's just a coincidence that my nan like my dad's mom has that name my mom has that middle name um my mom then passed it on to me and then i had to um pass it on to her as she was a girl i just had to her name is amelia christine i'm like obsessed with her when she was born on the saturday we were going to get discharged home um and they had had a little look over 
and she looked a bit yellow and they said that she was jaundiced so we had to then stay in the hospital even longer i'll insert a little picture um and a video of her under the lights it was heartbreaking for me because i've been through so much and she came out she was absolutely fine but then somebody was coming around and telling me oh actually she's not quite fine just yet all the midwives are lovely like they're there to obviously like help you and um look after you and baby um but it was just the whole experience for me was really um it was really overwhelming she'll be six weeks old tomorrow as i'm filming this um she's still only like seven pound 13 ounces so she's like the size that most babies are like born at if not they're born bigger than her so um she is still really quite small for six weeks old but she's just so chilled she's just so she's honestly such a good baby so when she was under the lights she hated life like she hated it but you can't really touch them you can't get them out of it because they have to stay under these lights for the treatment to work like the light therapy to work so jay had sat with her the whole more or less the whole day in the hospital just holding her finger and if he let go i'll insert the video because it is just the cutest like i just it's the cutest thing ever like she had this thing when she was in my tummy and i could feel either side of my tummy like around the sides her sort of i can't do both hands but sort of doing this um and I thought, well, I wonder what that is. And then she came out and she was doing it. So I know it was her hands. I didn't know if it was feet or I didn't know what it was. But when she was under the lights, um, she was doing it. And I just, oh, it was just, it was such a nice feeling in the way because I knew that she was that baby that was inside my tummy. It sounds so bizarre to say, but like, you can't picture her like i can't believe she was in my tummy it was her this whole time like her little personality and the little things that she does like i just can't i can't believe it but um seeing little things that you felt or um you maybe i don't know saw on a scan and then you see them do it just it just um it's it's really surreal like i still can't believe that i've had a baby now that we are in some kind of routine um i'm definitely going to be fingers crossed uploading a video every single week because I really want to I want to make the most of my um time whilst I'm on maternity leave can you hear us snoring I just die every time I look at her you're so cute but you're a bit stinky so we need to change your bum bum let's lift you up and then everyone can see She's got loads of hair, I'll show you the back of her head. I don't know why I'm being quiet. She loves noise, she loves music. One Direction is currently her favorite group. Just look at all that hair. I love how long it is, I don't know if you can see. I just love how long it is, it's so cute. You're so cute, you're such a good baby. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give a big old thumbs up. Any, vi any video recommendations then, and feel free to pop them down below in the comments section. I will be replying to all comments. I always see every single comment, um, cause there's not many, <laughs> so I see them all. I hope you are all really, really well, um, and I will see you all very soon. I'm sorry if there's anything I've missed out, then feel free to just comment down below and I'll answer any questions. Um, but I will see you very soon for another video.